Hey guys, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker, with another thrift store run video for you guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, turn on the bell notifications, drop a comment below. And also guys, please consider checking out my Instagram. It is at Pro Picker Ohio. Um, I have some reels and some posts that I've done there and uh, plan on adding more content soon. So really would appreciate if you have Instagram going over to at Pro Picker Ohio and uh, giving me a follow. So I head into the uh, Goodwill today looking at the media first. Not much change. They did have a copy of Call of Duty 4 there for the Xbox 360, but that game hovers around $9, so I just pass on that. Um, at $3, there's really just no room for profit by the time you factor in shipping and fees. I do see this D-Link Switch. Quickly determine I'm going to pass on it. Just not enough value there. It's a good deal for somebody that might need one. Not a great deal for resale. Uh, Wrinkles Away here is actually a cool vintage um, steamer deal. And uh, they want $4 for it. It's uh, going for about $24 shipped on eBay. There is enough room for a profit with this. I do check it out and make sure everything's inside. That is an item I will test before actually um, listing. So that's gonna be a little bit of work. Um, we'll have to test these as well. So these Sony speakers are being sold, or the best way to sell them I, that I found is in pairs. So I'll get two $30 shipped sales for them. So $12.99 is actually not that bad on them. Uh, it only comes out to $6.50 a pair, which is around the limit of where I want to be on a $30 sale uh, with uh, kind of medium-sized shipping. Um, the Sony here, it's just a DVD player. It's not a Blu-ray, so I do without a remote. So I do end up passing on that. Um, but it is a good price if you need one, because I think, what they say, $4 on that or, or so? Um, this centerpiece by Yankee Candle is pretty cool. It is pre-owned and used, um, but they do have the box for it. I'm thinking I'll get $25 to $30 for it. Um, I do believe these are discontinued, so it's dead stock. Um, as I'm leaving, uh, I often end up doing this uh, where I see something out of the corner of my eye. Uh, this. Uh, I guess it's a veggie steamer rice cooker by Sunbeam. I I think it might actually be new in there. I know the stuff's in there because I looked, but it looked like it was all wrapped in plastic and everything. I'm going to confirm if it's pre-owned, which it probably really is, um, I'll get $50 uh, shipped for it. So it's six bucks. That'll be profitable. However, um, if it is actually brand new and packaged, maybe I can get an extra 10 or $20 on there to uh, buff up my profit. Uh, the ring toss, uh, not so good. Um, it just didn't seem like it was something that was worth looking up or anything. There's a Leapster 2 here. I remember when those things were crazy good, um, like 10 years ago, I would go to Craigslist runs to go buy lots of them and put them up on eBay. Uh, the Scener here, I do end up passing on. Um, there was only one sold comp and I just didn't really feel too comfortable with it. There's a uh, multiple listed, at least from what I could see. Um, and just decided I, I didn't really want to take the chance on it. Oh, so I didn't know if things were missing in it or not. And it looked like it was all there. I just wasn't a hundred percent percent sure on it, I guess. So yeah, just kind of taking a glance around everything and I hear a new stock cart come out. So I uh, run up on it super quick and probably excessively aggressively. Um, and I do grab these uh, die cast cars. I always like to look those up whenever I see them, especially when they're boxed like that. Uh, those and the Newton just didn't have enough value. Um, this is really cool. I like this cigar box here, guys. Um, it's got that really cool, like almost holographic-ish shiny image on the front there. Um, I do end up getting these Tuscan Hills. They're not worth a fortune, but I figured my wife might like them. So there we go. Got her a little gift. And... <laughs> 
Uh, see, thrifting gifts are the most thoughtful gifts, right? Um, these two milk glass uh, oil lamps are pretty cool. I think I'm going to get about $25 each shipped on them. Uh, so four bucks a piece is safe. And I even have a box I think that would uh, work perfectly for them. The cigar box, I'm going to regret to tell you guys, I do put back. If it's still there tomorrow or something, I might get it just because it's cool but honestly i just don't really think i'm gonna have a good time trying to sell that on ebay are uh, these mega blocks are a cool item to pick up if you get them new um i did look at it it did seem like it was used um just not enough value but this fire truck guys 1988 new bright vintage remote control with the cord still hooked to it kind of deal um amazing it is subject to a few condition issues first i'm going to really need to clean it um it does work in the sense that at least that it moves i haven't uh, thoroughly tested it out yet um, i do have the ability to return things at this thrift store within seven days the uh, bottom latch covering the batteries is missing and a couple of like the decorative like cosmetic things are missing on it but i'm feeling good at like an 80 plus dollar uh uh, you know with shipping i guess included there uh on that fire truck these yankee candles 99 cents each they're the little miniature ones keep an eye out for these guys especially if a scent is discontinued it can have some real value those i think are still in production uh those yankee candles so if i get 25 bucks for both of them shipped i'm gonna be a happy camper with that especially at only two dollars in total I really thought the cigar box, uh, I think it's a cigar box of God, if it's not a cigar box that I keep calling it that, please correct me. Um, really cool with the angel there and the two children. Um, so I do end up putting it back. Um, I don't know, again, if there's a ton of value to it. I couldn't really find anything. Um, and I did look at it, uh, look it up again afterwards, just out of curiosity and didn't really see much. So, uh, let me know if I made the right call or not. I didn't think uh, too much value there though. So again, put it back. This is my haul for Goodwill today. So this was my first stop of the day. Later in the day, um, which we'll show in a second, I go to half off day at American Thrift. So we're not done yet, guys. Uh, just bear with me a minute. Um, I do quickly look and see another candle there, but don't pick it up because unfortunately it was used. Um, and I go ahead, check out here. You can kind of get a little bit of an overview of everything I did pick up today at Goodwill. Um, definitely um, productive. I felt like I got some really cool uh, merchandise. I really like that fire truck, even though it's gonna require a little bit of work on my part. Um, I think it's worth it. When it's a buy that's kind of fun to sell, you're more likely to list it. You're more likely to, you know, make sure it gets sold and everything. Again, American Thrift is having half off today. So honestly, let's go inside, see what we can find. Um, I guess disclaimer, be happy that this is a voiceover video because in the beginning there, it was pretty hectic and loud. Um, it's half off day. Everybody knows it's half off day because it's the last Friday of every month. Um, and pretty much any major holiday, but um, yeah, I mean, right there off the rip, I find this NOAA weather radio. I've actually, uh, you've seen it in a video before, maybe a few days ago. There were two of them. However, there's this one left now, and I go and uh, check it out and test it. I think this model, I don't have an exact comp. I threw something similar on the screen. I'll get $25 shipped for it. Um, always do pretty good on weather radios. Um, but yeah, 250 I just can't pass up on it. Um, that toaster oven deal was pretty cool, but unfortunately, I uh, had a big dent in it, so I decided to pass. I eye these new balances and I'm like, those are made in the USA and I was right. Uh, so always be on the lookout for these made in the USA new balances. Uh, they're kind of vintage, uh, not super, I guess some of them are pretty old now. Um, these right here, I don't know. I think I'll get about 40 shipped for them. Uh, you can see in the front it says made in the USA, but a lot of them don't say that. So you have to look inside to see the label um, to see if they're made in the USA or not. Um, but yeah, these women's shoes should be an easy flip for me. And they were only $2. 
Um, the bear paw boots here, they're kind of like Uggs. Unfortunately, they were missing a latch or I would have picked that up. But got to throw it back. Uh, just not going to be worth anything. Uh, going to be almost impossible to move on eBay for a profit at least. Um, then I go over the men's boots, which you guys know I love going over there. Um, a lot of comps on the screen there. They're not the exact same boots, guys. I know that. Uh, the condition that these are in, I'm thinking 40 to 45 shipped. It says $8 on the bottom, but keep in mind it is half off day, so we're only paying 4 bucks. I don't think I'm going to have a hard time selling these. Um, there is some wear. Um, this is uh, the uh, blue... Um, corning glass it's like the cornflower pattern and um that one didn't have the lid so i did pass on it but keep it in mind because in a, in a soon to come out video you'll see that i pick some up with the lid um and it is a very desirable pattern um the rubber made thing here I'm not 100% sure what it is. I know it goes to the stand mixer that's really expensive. And since it's only $1.50 today, I go ahead and throw it in the cart. I didn't have time to really research what it is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment. I think it's the ice cream maker attachment, but I'm not 100% sure. I had a comment that suggested I check out the handbags. Unfortunately, this one just didn't have enough value. Uh, it's like that Nicole Hill faux alligator uh, to be worth it didn't really see much else so uh, I gave it a shot um, while I'm in line I see these ACUs the army combat uniform just recently ish discontinued um, I was actually in when these came out um, it is so we could be camouflaged if we ever had war in a gravel pit um, these two unfortunately the used ones here had stains on them they were like pen stains from ink you always had to carry a pen on you in the army but the pair that i have right there are brand new so definitely going to uh pick those up and throw them in the cart because i should be able to get about 30 dollars for these shipped uh, so pretty good deal, uh, definitely going to throw them in the cart. So now I go ahead and check out, um, and I only grab like the four things or so, and still some pretty good deals, definitely some profit to be made. Thank you guys very much for coming out and watching today. I really appreciate the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, turn on the bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.